Okay. Okay. Gordon Ramsay here. We're going to be cooking some very good menu items on the bloody menu. So, we're going to be cooking spaghetti bolognese. We're going to be cooking pasta, a bolognese with a, you know, we've got all sorts of um, stuff. We've got the, we're going to make the concoction for the sauce. That's just put the bottle of chuck some red wine in there. That'll stick, add some flavour to the sauce. Okay, then we're going to put this onto there. We're going to uh, blend that all into a sauce. Okay, that is a blended, that is a delicious sauce. Now, okay, we're going to grab some we're going to grab for that. We're going to grab a little, take a little garlic. We could take the core out, be professional. But I'm a home cook now. I'm not a professional. Okay. Take the core out. We could be professional. And take okay. We could be professional and take the core out. But we're just going to add the garlic into the sauce. It'll make it rough and chunky in the pan. We'll add it to the blender. So add it to our mix in the blender. Um, that'll just just. So we've got our sauce. We're going to put it in the in this in this pan with the chick with with the chicken. Um, uh, hang on. Um, rotate. Just gonna pour it and chuck it in the pan. Just chuck it in the pan and make some delicious soup. Now with this pan, I'm gonna chuck in more of our pest spaghetti sauce. I'm going to chuck a bit more sauce in. It's gonna be steady with our sauce. Pour the rest of the sauce into the pan, which this will make rough and chunky. It'll be nice and br brilliant and wonderful, delicious soup. Pour the rest of our sauce in there. That is like a blood concoction. It's like a blood transfusion. So, we're going to grab our... We cut the bone of the chicken. Like, that is how good we're going to be. We're going to trim and cut the bonus of the chicken. We're going to put the chicken in the pan, into the sauce. And then, it'll be rough and chunky in the pan. Um, now grab our chicken, we're going to put it in the pan and make some delicious soup. Now put the chicken, we're going to bake, we're going to grab one of these uh, fryers, we're going to put our chicken in the fryer, we're going to, going to cook twice, fry the chicken and then I'm going to cook the chicken in the proper way, but I'm going to fry the chicken afterwards. It will be overcooked, but it'll do its job. So anyway, we're going to let that chicken simmer in the pan. Now, with the penne pasta, fazili pasta. We're going to put it in the pan. There's no real recipe. Chuck the, chuck it in the, chuck it in the, uh, bowl and make some make some food. We're going to grab another bottle of red wine, which we're just going to chuck in there. Chuck some red wine in there. That'll just add some flavour into the soup, into this make, add it into the pan, and that's make some. Make some delicious, delicious soup. Put it on the heater. Heat it up. Heat up the chicken and make some delicious chicken. That is doing wonderfully. Wonderfully. I cannot believe... This is what Gordon Ramsay would be proud of me. Now we're going to grab this. 
this uh, frying thing. We're going to put this there because we're going to chuck our chicken into the fryer. It won't take, it will take a while to cook, but it will take. Uh, just, uh. Oh crap, we're getting the sauce everywhere. Uh, pour that chicken in. It doesn't matter about the red wine because it's, it's just mixed around. It doesn't matter about the red wine. Um, we just chuck it, chuck it in the, chuck it in the dryer, and let's make some fried chicken. Okay, so chuck it in there, and then we're just gonna. make some fresh chicken so we're going to check on the pasta and the pasta is almost done it's doing perfectly in the liter of sauce now the pasta is done so what we're going to do is we're just gonna grab this and we're just gonna pour our red wine mix onto the plate our red wine mix onto the plate. It will be brilliant to cook. We just pour that pasta onto the plate there. Wonderfully done. That is just brilliant. The Ipuzili. It is totally not overcooked because, you know, it's pasta and it's it looks overcooked, but it's not overcooked. You know what I mean? Um, we'll just chuck some more pasta because that's how we're going to get chicken fried chicken and pasta then we're going to check on our chicken it looks this is our fried chicken we're going to grab our chicken but then we're going to do it twice fried traditional chicken put it in the fryer once again we're going to put it like a paella, like we do it in Spain. We, f we twice fry the chicken. We're going to put it in broth. We're just going to do it like something. It may look overcooked, but... Mind you, Gordon Ramsay taught me a special lesson. Now, we're going to do... <laughs> We've broken a bottle of olive oil. Um, broken a bottle of olive oil. Let's grab another one. Let's grab some, let's chuck it in a pan and make some delicious soup. That sunflower oil. Ah. Hello Jacob, welcome to the stream. We're just trying to cook uh, a pasta dish. We need, we need olive oil, where's the olive oil? Where's the olive? Olive, 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 avocado, olive. There it is. So grab the olive oil, open, let's just pour the oil, pour the entire bottle of olive oil in the pan, now grab the broth, this will be important for this the course is not finished. Toss the chicken in the broth. That would be make it good, make it taste wonderful. Um, don't ask why there's a mess in the kitchen. Um, uh, now we're just gonna grab a knife and chop this meat up. Chop it up. Chop, 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 chop. That works. We're going to chop some meat, put it in the pan, put some in with the chicken, because why not for the next course? You'd, you wouldn't trust me in the kitchen. Because there's no real recipe. This is just what you expect from a real kitchen. They will chuck things in a pan and make some delicious food. 
let's grab some let's grab this uh wine wine this this stuff and chuck it in a pan and just chuck it in <laughs> I didn't mean to do that but anyway of the rest of this meat this will go into the sauce because it will be delicious we grab this uh, what is that we'll grab this tray this will go into the cutter the cutting device this will go in there this will cut and this will cut up this will do extremely well I'm the last person to ask when it comes to kitchen advice. Gordon Ramsay would have not hired me. He'd kick me out. Anyway, chuck this, chuck this stuff in. I'm gonna chuck this in. I'm gonna press the button. I don't think it will. Yeah, because it's me. Uh, chuck it in the bloody microwave. Ooh. Oh god. Let's just grab some um grab this and then I'm the last person to ask. Um where can we chuck this? Left the gas on. Um Grab this. So I'm going to grab this meat, chuck it in this paella pan. Chuck, chuck it everywhere. Chuck it. Just put it in. Then grab this. Heat this up. And then that's going to be our first sort of our course. That'll heat up. Now we need some soup. We'll make some delicious soup. We need more olive oil. Ah, it's broken. Now we're going to use this barbecue sauce. Chop this. Now let's grab some salt. No, oh, I needed soy sauce. I need a soy sauce. Some a some nice an Asian meat recipe. We should have done vegetables with this, but anyway, because we can we do the meats again, we twice fry it. I don't know why. And then chuck this on the on the griddle. On the grill. Um chuck this there. Anyway, let's just Where's the fryer thing I put that? Okay. So grab this. All this mix into here. We're gonna triple fry this. We could be professional, but I'm not a professional. I'm the last person to ask. Well, now, that's our first course. It's gonna be some pasta and meat okay we're going to chuck it on a pan and we're going to chuck it rough and chunky in the pan wonderful lovely Put the pan down order up pasta and meat to serve to the kitchen that is a wonderful dish 
we'll just put it we'll put it there because that'll be lovely that'll be lovely when that is done mind you put some twice but overcooked chicken meats chicken after chicken after chicken i'm gonna grab this okay take a little we could be we could be professional but we're not a professional we're not a professional cook we're a home cook now we're not a professional <laughs> i'm the last person to ask mm. I'm, the, I'm not a home i'm a, a, the last person to ask so we've got our second course which is an assortment of meats on a plate anyway Now, we're going to add the best part of this course onto a delicious plate. There's no real recipe, just put it on a plate and make some delicious food. So, why did I put it back on? Move, back out, out. You lot, you, and then you, grab this. Grab this meat, and then we need some garnish. Now, ignore the mess. Just to clear up this mess, we're going to make another disgusting concoction. We need some red wine. No, we actually need this. We need some. We need some alcohol. Okay, we're going to add alcohol to the, to the recipe. Why does my pasta have to go everywhere? You know what? Just put this there and make some soup. Oh God! Um. No, can I put? Let me pour a beer. Um. Let me pour a beer. I need a glass. Um, I need a pint. Have we got a glass? Anyone got a glass? I can lend. Oi, oi. Let's have a look in there for some beer. A beer glass. Grab a glass of beer. Um, it was just a pour of beer. Let's pour our beer into a. Nah. Let's pour a pint of lager into this list. glass. Into our mac rug. Um, anyway, this is our our, our main court. We got our, our, our appetizer, meats, and then we got some appetizer. We got pasta in a sauce, overcooked, but okay. And the mac rug. That looks good. And uh, we'll see you later.